Okay, for this next feature, uh, let's talk about the new cloning and healing brush that, uh, that Adobe put into Lightroom 5 Beta. So if we go in and take a look at an image here, so this image clearly needs some help. It's a little oversaturated, or not oversaturated, overexposed rather. And, uh, but I'm gonna go into the develop module and we'll just do some quick edits to this. So as you look across the top here, in the, uh, in the toolbar here, in the develop module, you'll see this brush here, right? So that's the adjustment, adjustment brush that I can paint in things. But also here is my cloning tool, right? So I can make my brush bigger. I'm clicking the open bracket or the close bracket here to make it bigger and uh, close the open bracket to make it bit smaller and the open bracket to make it bigger left and right brackets. So now, instead of just clicking and dragging like I could do before, I can actually paint over an area in the image that I want to remove, just like this. And there it goes, it's gone. And you'll see what's happening here. So it's not, it's not doing a clone like it does in Photoshop or heal like it does in Photoshop. It's actually replicating what the old feature in Lightroom 4 did, IG or EG just sort of create a circle where it's going to sample from and copy over the target area. Cool thing about that is I can now grab that that target area, the first sample from area we'll call it, and I can drag it around so that I can have it sample different parts of the image, whatever makes sense. If I don't like any of it, I can just click delete and start again. For example, we'll just paint over this little brush here, right? And there we go. It's gone, just like that. So, and then when I'm finished, I just turn it off and I've just edited that piece out of the, uh, out of the, out of the photo. So really powerful. Before, to do little pieces like that, you could, you know, you'd have to generally take it into Photoshop and do your edits and then round trip it back into Lightroom. But now that this feature is in Lightroom, you can do a lot more work just staying right in Lightroom. Now, so one of the main differences between that feature the new revised version of that feature and the old feature that was in Lightroom 4 is that Lightroom 4 let you, I think the, the feature was specifically designed for sensor dust or just little specks of things that were sort of floating in the air on the image or in blank areas. So you could do that sort of cloning. I used it a lot for retouching. So I used it to, you know, kind of take out pimples and blemishes and that sort of thing. But now I can go in with precision and paint over specific areas and have Lightroom do its thing there. So really, really powerful. Definitely check it out. That's called the Cloning and Healing Brush in Lightroom 5 Public Beta.